so let's study the differences between endospore and exospore so in order to make the differences more clear in order to make the differences more clear let me draw a line in between so the first point under endospore is so endospores are produced by the clostridium bacillus and sporosarcina bacteria and for exospore exospores are produced by the members of the phylum actinobacteria now let's move on to the second point so endospores are formed within or inside the vegetative cell and for exospore exospore are formed outside the vegetative cell let's move on to the third point so the third point under endospore is it is a structure formed by the bacteria and for exospore so for exospore it is an asexual spore that is separated from the mother cell now let's move on to the fourth point so cell division is not involved in the formation of endospores and for exospore we have exospores are produced by the cell division let's move on to the fifth point now endospores are released by rupturing the mother cell and for exospores for exospore exospores are released by budding let's move on to the sixth point so only one endospore is produced by a single organism and for exospore we have several exospores are produced by a single organism now let's move on to the seventh point so the seventh point will be the examples examples for examples for endospore examples of endospores include bacillus anthracis bacillus cereus clostridium botulinum clostridium titani etc and for exospores now examples of exospores include conidospores streptomyces actinobacteria and diverse groups of fungi algae and cyanobacteria so these were the differences these were the differences between endospore and exospore let me show a diagram in order to give clear clarity regarding this topic so this diagram is just for understanding that endospore is present within the cell it is present within the cell and exospore is present outside the cell this is the spore this blue structure this is known as the spore and this is the cell so this was the video i kept this video short in order to give a quick explanation or a quick review for this topic just before the exams or when in need thank you